Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are going to be doing a Reiki session for attracting the most purest and perfect form of love into your life or if you already have it into your life we're going to send out that healing energy so that you can continue on down that harmonious path so just in time for valentine's day happy valentine's day everybody cannot believe we're in february um let me try to turn turn, nine, turn down the brightness a little. Yes, we are in a new setup. Okay. Yes, we are in a new setup. I wanted to do something different for a change. Um, we are on my side of the bed. We have a nice little setup on the side. Um, we have the singing bowl, the crystals that I'm going to be incorporating, incorporating, um, we've got a nice little Himalayan salt lamp and a candle as well, which I haven't been lighting candles recently, um, so consider this a special occasion. So, let me start off with smudging and using the Palo Santo over your auric field and just doing a quick scan of your body and just removing any surface level energy um, that does not serve you. Look how weird weirdly shaped this poly santo is but i love it i love it though let's let's light it on this end so any intentions you have for this session go ahead and think of them now you could say it in your mind or out loud this is a judgment free zone Very calm. Let's see if it can stand up. Nope. Let it just lay it right there. Okay. Let's see if the sound bowl wants to cooperate.
wanted to start off with the sacral chakra singing bowl because your sacral has to do with passion and sensuality which is very relevant when it comes to love um, so yeah love has to do well, all chakras are embodies love to an extent but specifically the heart chakra and the sacral chakra um, and so I'm really going to be tuning into those two chakras during this healing session and the Reiki is activated I activated it before I turned on the camera feeling instantly calm instantly more relaxed more at peace. Big energy shift tonight. I want you to leave in the comment section below any insight, anything that you would like to share. This is a very safe space. So again, this channel is just about really serving you guys and relaxing you and healing you energetically as well so all you have to do for this Reiki healing session to work for you tonight is to consent to this Reiki healing and sit back and relax. And if you happen to fall asleep, just know that that is completely okay and that you will receive the same benefits as if you were awake because the Reiki it's going to be coming at you still, directing towards you, and your subconscious is going to really pick up that Reiki, so. Feeling very relaxed right off the bat. Just allow that Reiki healing to direct to anywhere it needs to in the physical body or your mental or emotional levels or spiritual just allow that Reiki to really go anywhere that it pleases now I'm going to do really gentle hand movements Get in your auric field, in your body. I'm telling you, that Palisanto really does help me just tune into you guys right off the bat. You know, the Palisanto is removing any surface level energy um, that doesn't serve you, so that as soon as I go into the Reiki session, it's like immediate energy shift at least I feel that for you go to the light telling any negative energy to go to the light plucking as well. Very relaxed. Very, very relaxed. Deep breath.
relaxed right now. So, so relaxed. filming this on a Friday night so thank you so much for joining me tonight I tell you like I love doing this so much for you guys and I really just um, and I, I enjoy doing it at any time during the day anytime any day of the week um, and it's very relaxing for me honestly after a long week to just sit down and connect with you energetically and on a deep level and able to send you Reiki healing. So thank you for watching. Thank you for your continued support. I read all the comments. It really does mean a lot to me. This is a complete side note. I hope you don't mind the ramble. But I had a lot of caffeine earlier. And like, caffeine, like, I'm not used to, you know? And I was kind of bugging out a little bit. I was like, like, I was so, like, high strung. But I just got, like, in the sauna. And I did a cold shower. Just did my skincare, so I feel more grounded right now. Speaking of grounding, let's get out the grounding spray. quick energy or very quick chakra cleanses um, and then the uh, sacral and the heart chakra we're really going to tune into the heart chakra um, but we're going to give you a full chakra balance um, as I feel like that's really needed for this type of energetic healing so I'm going to start at the root chakra at the base of your spine. If you don't see my hands, just trust that I am directing the Reiki healing towards your root chakra now. So if you feel any warmth or coolness or different energy sensations in the root chakra or in any parts of your body, just know that that is going of energy in the root chakra.
Morning Air by Bath and Body Works. Um, and I do like the smell a lot. Good, good, good. Wow, big energy shift. Feeling more protected, more secure and stable and more at peace as I ground your root chakra and freeing up any negative energy and just replacing that negative energy with love and light, bright white light energy. Just tuning in to that root chakra is located about one to two inches below your belly button. Release, release any negative energy heaviness in the sacral, doing some energy blocking, get to the light, let's do the sound bowl one more time for you to really activate the sacral. Sending out that Reiki to the sacral. bright orange color with each breath that you take your sacral chakra is getting brighter and brighter releasing any darkness Going to your solar plexus, which is at the pit of the stomach.
want to send out that intention of moving forward with beautiful love and harmony in your life, moving forward into the right direction when it comes to love. So if you are looking for love in your life, just allowing your soul and your consciousness to be guided into the love that serves you, that's going to serve you, and that is going to really honor you, and that if you are in current love, um, just allow this Reiki energy take you and guide you down oh there's the trains I was wondering when they were going to come but anyways just moving forward with beautiful and harmonious love that's the intention not toxic love not trauma bonding that's not love um, but it's okay if you are just be mindful of it and do the work needed to get yourself out of a toxic relationship because ultimately it does not serve you and you deserve so much more. I see people in my day-to-day -day life that are in a relationship and they think, and I'm, I'm not somebody to judge. Okay, I am not somebody to judge anybody's relationships, but everybody can see it, that it's not healthy, it's not productive, and it's trauma bonding. So just being mindful and allow you to Give yourself the healing needed so that you can attract the most perfect love possible. Because if you are not aligned energetically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically, it's going to be harder for you to manifest and attract the love that you deserve. Because when you are a vibrational frequency you're going to attract that vibrational fre frequency so you really want to make sure that you are high on the vibrational field frequency spectrum so that you can attract that I can give you some quick tips and trips tips and tricks on how to uplift your energy, gratitude, meditation, love, sending out love to the whole world and to the whole universe for every living thing, loving yourself, that includes loving yourself, if you can't love yourself, What do you think that's going to attract and manifest into your life? If you're desperate for love, I'm sorry to say, but you're just going to attract somebody that's very low vibration, with low vibrational energy. See, the trains are great. But first, let's just fill up that heart chakra.
Allow yourself to feel this Reiki healing and turn to your heart chakra now. Opening your heart up for receiving and giving love to others. Loving yourself. Honoring yourself. You are worthy for the perfect love. The most purest form of love. Lots of energy coming out of my left hand. Didn't I say that in one of my other videos? So just sending that Reiki healing out into the heart chakra. And again, if you are in a relationship right now, if you're in a loving relationship right now, let us just continue that beautiful relationship and that beautiful representation of love that currently exists into your life, that currently exists in your life, excuse me, and let's just continue that. I know a lot of people say that, or some people say that they don't like Valentine's Day because it is a holiday that they think that people should live by every single day, which I agree, but sometimes I think it's good to have days like that as a gentle reminder to realign ourselves and to just be a true expression of love for ourselves and to others. So for me, the holiday of Valentine's Day isn't about doing something only one time of year. It's about getting back to the core and essence of true love. There we go. Big energy shift. Feeling very grateful right now. Feeling very positive. Feel gratitude for all of the love that you have in your life right now. All of the love that you have into your life right now. All the love that you give out. There we go. Into the world. And all the love that you receive from others in the universe. Just hold that gratitude and that appreciation. And know that the more that you feel this gratitude, the more you are going to receive Big energy shift tonight. Look at the rose cord. <sighs> Lots of energy. Directing that rose cord healing into your heart chakra. chakra And some energy blocking in the heart chakra. Any past trauma or any past heartbreak is just going to the light now, freeing up that space.
breaking up any negative energy in the heart chakra. There we go. Telling them to go to the light. Go to the light. Just really want to make sure we're fully clearing up this heart chakra. Allow this polysanto smudging to go directly to the heart chakra. Allow the selenite wand to fully clear up your heart chakra, cleanse your heart chakra. There you go. Let's just go to your throat chakra real quick. I'm staying, keeping one hand at the throat chakra while another at the third eye. your crown chakra, connecting you to all that the universe is, spirituality, you feel now that we did all that beautiful healing work.
beautiful job. I really like this setup too. Let me know in the comment section below if you really like this setup. Because if that's the case, I can just put my Namaste sign like right there. But I like doing it at different places though. But I don't know, I just feel really connected to you this way because I'm sitting on my meditation um, seat. Um, I don't know, I just, I'm crisscross applesauce right now and I just feel like I'm really connected to you. I'm really grounded um, since I'm practically on the floor. I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I had an amazing time with you tonight. Thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day. And as I said earlier, just allow this Reiki healing to move forward with love and every single day, every single moment of your life, lead with love, guide with love, and truly embody love for yourself and for others. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in my next video.